Happy Halloween, folks. Happy Halloween, Ellen. Hello. Uh, we are going back to one of the first videos we ever did oh. for this channel, yeah. which was uh, the most horrible spiders in video games as ranked by an arachnophobe. That arachnophobe is Ellen. Hi. Ellen, you have arachnophobia, which yeah. is a phobia. Arachnids. Of arachnids. Spiders. Now, after we published that video, many of you in the comments suggested even more horrifying spiders that you were very keen for Ellen to see. Ellen has volunteered to look at these spiders, which is uh, genuinely very generous of her because uh, arachnophobia is not very pleasant. It is not very pleasant for Ellen. Look at that determined face. There we go. That's the face <laughs> That's that is... That's my angry Leslie Nope face. Yeah. Yeah, em <laughs> emphasis on the nope, I think, in, in this situation. I will show Ellen uh, a spider that you have suggested and she will rank it on the fearometer. Can we start the fearometer, please? Now, some of you uh, were distressed last time that uh, the method that we were d using was not very scientific. So that's why this time, huh? The lab coat. <laughs> and if you're worried that this still wasn't exactly following the scientific method, principles, goggles. This means that I will be safe during the experiment. Don't I get goggles? I'm, I'm the one looking at the spiders. Normally the scientist wears the goggles, Ellen. You are the subject. <laughs> you have volunteered your body and mind uh, for medical purposes and for YouTube entertainment. <laughs> Let's crack on. Okay, Ellen. Well, our first submission comes from commenter Kimi Who's Who's. No spoilers, but Ellen, I'd recommend not playing Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Oh, I was actually planning on playing that. What happened? What? Oh, no. There is only <laughs> one spider in it and near the end, but dot, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> <gasps> Oh no, they're in a ball of webbing and they're being dragged through by a lady with a spider body. <laughs> I hate Time. what I'm seeing right now. The Which is the, yeah, the, this. Because you can't even see the fact that there's like a human top. Like when you can kind of see the top lady part where she's like an actual human. Yeah. Oh no, I don't like it when they're like going. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where would you place the spider uh, boss from Brothers A Tale of Two Sons? Okay, it's on, on the fear, where it is on the ferometer, which what? goes from one to, let's say, ten. Okay, uh, well, because it's, it's like a weird spider centaur thing, mm. it's slightly diminished because it hasn't got the horrible, horrible face. Yes, okay. Uh, with the horrible many eyes and kick kick. But it's still a very unpleasant rendering of the body of a spider, yeah, the segmented I'm, body. And I know you don't like it when they go upside down. And I don't like it when they go upside down and they get so you Even though that means they've done, they, yeah. So what's the number, Ellen? Mm, five or six. Five or six, I'm gonna have to press you for a... 5.5. 5.5, a 5.5 on the ferometer. It's just unpleasant. Well it's done, unpleasant. Ellen. It's not a full spider, but it's... Not enjoyable. Mm. Ellen, our next submission comes from commenter Nope Nope, <laughs> who says, you want to know what's the worst spider in gaming? I don't think Ellen did want to know, but Nope Nope is gonna tell us. Rayman 2, The Great Escape. Ooh. Now, Ellen, I know that you are a fan of the of yeah. Rayman as now, a character. Is this like the OG games? This is one of the, uh, this is a non two. this is one of the 3D games. Right. 1999 mm -hmm. uh, for the N64 uh, PC and Dreamcast. Are you ready to see the spider? And particular attention was drawn to the music. The here. music. See how you feel. Oh, look at his little thing. Oh, no. Uh, oh, Ooh, that's fast got many eyes. I don't like... Ah! It's slightly cartoony, so I'm not too freaked out. Okay. I'm less scared by the fact that it's a spider, mm -hmm. and I'm more scared by the fact that it's coming at me very, very quickly. Sure. Um, I'm more panicked than genuinely scared. More panicky then than the sort of phobic mm, reaction. Yeah, and also it, it's not like proper spider movements because it is that 90s graphics. It's like... Yeah. <laughs> so what number on the ferometer are we giving that? It's like three or four. It's like unpleasant. I'm gonna have to press you for a number. The boys at the ferometer are gonna, they want, they want hard stats. 
I'd say, I'd say like a three. A three, okay. But yeah, that is good, intense, oh no, gotta run, gotta run, gotta All run. Right in a 3D platformer in the 90s, lol, good luck. <laughs> I will just make a note of this uh, information in the database. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Our next submission comes from Moonstone underscore gaming, who says, was anyone else expecting Armor Goma from Zelda Twilight Princess on this list? Oh, I sort of know that one, and it's sort of a reason why I haven't played that game yet. <laughs> well, Ellen, are you ready to Closely examine Armo Goma. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, this one they drop down, don't they? Or something. It's just crawls on the ceiling and then didn't like it. <laughs> yep, yeah, no, no. <laughs> no. We haven't even got no. to the eye oh. at its back. <laughs> the eye on its back is not the problem, it's the many eyes at the front of its face. Sure. Oh, that's horrible. Oh. Oh, it moved. Oh. So what's the what's? <laughs> tell me what. Tell me what's happening now, Ellen. Is it the? Is it the? No. I'll just write that down. Subject commented. <laughs> it's all like uh, and no. <laughs> horrible. Yes, it is very horrible. It's, it's like a big horrible tarantula-y type thing, but not like even fuzzy. Like, I can sort of, like, if I catch a glimpse at a tarantula, I can sort of be like, oh, it's okay. But because they're, like, fuzzy, yes. it's, it's the fact that it's, like, a naked tarantula and I don't like it. Okay, uh, can I show you what happens at the end of this boss fight? Okay. I mean, that's unpleasant, but... And now it's... you have to do a comedy chase where you chase all these little spiders. <laughs> well, that's a bit more weird and zelda -y. Like, the eye is the big kind of, like, weird thing about it, not the fact that it's a mm. giant f***ing spider. <laughs> do you think someone should go to prison for this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great, Miyamoto, well done, Ellen. why did you let them put that in it? <laughs> Blood on your hands, Miyamoto. That's like a nine. That's a nine, okay, it's wow. It's like a nine we've, or a ten. We've gone to a nine, okay. Because, I'd say 9.9. 9.9. Because I the, the Zelda takes it off from being a ten, because at least little Linky's there, and I love Link. There's gonna be a load of these are gonna be like, oh yeah, that's why I didn't play that game. It can be debilitating. There's and this got is to be a website, constance. like, is there a spider in it? Oh, like that website where it's like, does the dog die? Yeah. But does, but is, is there, there a, a spider Is there in a it? big, F off Needs spider. Moving on, I've got a bit of a double bill in this next one. Uh, first comment comes from <laughs> Jumbo, who says, um, where is Rom the vacuous spider? <laughs> As you possibly guess from the name, Rom the vacuous spider is from one of the Souls series games, specifically oh, from course. Bloodborne. Oh. Here is Rom. Mm. Now we're looking at this chap in the middle. See, for me, I've seen this before, the chap in the middle is yep. less freaky than all his little friends. Rom itself is just kind of a bit comically too big. Right. And he, he's, he's gross rather than, oh God, a spider. He's more like a centipede earwig thing. Yeah, I see that, I see that. Probably like a three again. Just because like he's gross, he's unpleasant. Sure. But he's not extremely spidery. I don't like all the eyes on the front, but it's not that weird, it's not that very symmetrical awfulness of a spider face. I'm with you, I'm with you. And the second part of this comment, Ellen, because there were quite a few comments suggesting spiders from the Souls, Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there are a lot of spiders lot in those, of spiders games. In those uh, games, but one that came up a lot was uh, Chaos Witch Quilag from uh, Dark Souls. Who I have experienced in a live stream, You I have. Believe. Now I thought you did very well in yeah. that live stream. Yeah. Uh, so maybe talk us through what are your, th what are your thoughts on... Um... <laughs> well, it's quite like, you know, oh haha, ha, there's like a naked lady on top. Kind sure. of takes off the fact that it's a giant spider. Yeah. Um, so it's that, it's like, it's got the lots of eyes thing. Yeah. But also they do that thing with this one where the eyes are all kind of glowy. Right. And they're kind of like lumpy. Yes. So it's not that glassy blackness that you get in like most spider faces. Just write this um, down. It's... <laughs> Just make a note of that. It's unple... I like the movement is unpleasant. I don't like that. But I also think, you know, because it's like on fire. Oh, I don't like it close up when you see the leg hairs. That's unpleasant. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, eh. 
Um, but yeah, it's like, it's gross, it's unpleasant. I don't, oh no, I didn't like it walking. Yeah, it's when it moves. If it stands still, it's fine. Um, yeah, okay. but it's cause, it's cause your eye is drawn sure. to the weird naked lady on top. So you're like slightly distracted. Okay. You're attacked with like a giant fire sword as mm. opposed to being attacked by a horrible spider mouth. Um, so would you say that even though the, the Souls games are famous for their spectacularly horrifying and, and mm -hmm. unappealing mm -hmm. bosses, because they are so exaggerated and disgusting, yeah, actually, it actually, for an actually takes away from the natural horror of what a natural spider looks oh like. God, we are making arachnophobes incredible scientific progress. Because you're just progress. kind of like, oh, it's all lumpy. Uh, <laughs> so it's like all lumpy. <laughs> so Quilag, score Quilag, Quilag. Uh, like a five point five. I'm surprised, but hey, we're all learning today. Mm -hmm. Every day's a school day. It's also because it moves quite slowly. Um, but not in like a creepy spider way. It's sure, just more sure, like sure. I'm Lum moving my way towards you, boom, boom, boom. As lumbering. To, he's lumbering. Lumbering. Commenter <laughs> Andrew GR46 says, Ooh, "Hello. Hey, you Hi. forgot the spiders that chase you from Drake's Deception. This is from Ooh. an Uncharted game." <laughs> So they're pouring out of the walls. Yeah, no, that's that's there's, there's that's a, horrible. There's a lot of little ones. They're all around. Um, you have to you have to use the torch <sighs> to hold them at bay. <sighs> mm. I'm getting some intense breathing. Yeah, it's the numbers. It's the sheer the sheer volume volume of. Oh no, yes, yeah, it's because you can't see them very pouring, well. Pouring down because, this wall, yeah. Oh no, I don't like that. Um, it's fine when they're just like around you yeah. but it's like when you go through a doorway and suddenly you see that they're like properly spiked like sure, they're just when the kind camera of like just happens to bump up against mass. the right and then okay. you actually see that oh that's a lot of individual spiders yes no oh, why are they looking at them <laughs> What's, see, what's, what I think is interesting about this one is that I think this is very much the kind of thing that a game developer could add into their game without really giving it too much thought mm -hmm. about how it's going to be received by arachnophobes. Because when you put in an enormous creepy spider boss, it's obviously supposed to yeah. be creepy. It's supposed to make your skin crawl. Yeah. Whereas this, I feel like this is almost more of a kind of fun bit of physics. Like they're just showing off the yeah, physics like, engine. Yeah, like, oh, look, about, we oh, can do the whole you swarm the, of them. them. Yeah. Uh. I, I, and it's kind of supposed to be a bit more of a kind of, oh, Indiana Jones kind of, I don't yeah. feel like it was put in to horrify. No. And yet, that is the unintended consequence. I'm getting much stronger readings off of this well, than off of some of the soul stuff we saw. Yeah. <laughs> the, the actual spiders themselves are, like, not too high rendered. Yeah. Which is helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, the move they've done, they've done really well on the movement. <laughs> Mm, well done, guys. They've done <laughs> well really done, well. Well done, Naughty Dog. Okay, <laughs> so Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception Spiders. The Just, number is... Yeah, the sheer number of them, it, it's like a 8, I think. Like, or like maybe, maybe a 7.5. 7.5. Dial it down for Ometer Boys. Basically, I, I'm in that... If I was in that room, I would, I would break down. You'd give the torch to Sully and be like... I die now. No, 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 no. I'd oh, be, right. I, I would be oh, would like be fully out. wailing around while wailing. Um, <laughs> that, basically. that sounds very emotionally intense. And as a scientist, I shy away from that kind of thing. So, what to show you next? I have a few options on the menu. <laughs> Commenter Luke Taylor Music says, Doom Three. I'd love to see Ellen's reaction on the spiders in Doom Three. Right. Oh, they're like human faces. Yes. Ugh. I hate the legs. Hate the legs. Hate oh, the human that's... face. Now they, they don't have eight legs, but I'm still. Oh god, that's horrible. Can it's I... sort of got extra eyes. Can still. I just say? <gasps> can I just say I am incre. I was about to tell you, FYI, Ellen. Fun fact about these guys: they don't actually have eight legs. I don't think people watching at home <laughs> will have necessarily noticed that they have only six legs. These things. You, because... you notice these things quickly. You learn how to quickly count the legs so you know whether you should so be you, freaked out. So you, <laughs> it's so your you, brain going, yeah. mm, how, how many? Yeah. The irrational part of your brain is immediately counting legs. Yeah. That should be on a t-shirt. The irrational part of my brain is immediately counting legs. It's great when you can merge science with merchandising. <laughs> Synergy. That's what we're all about. That's what we're all about. Because it's profitable. Um, 
Uh, so, Ellen, I feel like this was a bit, this was a stronger reaction than I was uh, actually mm, expecting, so I it's, am interested. It's the movement is unpleasant. Okay. Um, like the face, is it there? Is it like a human head, like upside down? Yes. But with extra eyes on the bottom, so like there's like eyes here. I will show you, they, call, they are called trites. <sighs> so yes, it's like a human face upside down, but with extra eyes. That's a hot, that's a hard pass I'm getting there. I'm like unnerved and sick. Quite a combo. <laughs> it's it's because they're all fleshy. I don't like them. You don't, okay, okay. <laughs> you got like a pew commenter. Because <laughs> I want to like don't vomit. You, don't totally. you get sick on my pew <laughs> It's very expensive. It's not that kind of uh, spider. It's bringing in something different. There's it's, a revulsion. There's, 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 oh god, spider, and then yep. there's, uh, it's like made of humans. Okay. Um, or whatever the demon thing. It's like made of, it's a fleshy spider. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh, that's, that's not a word. That's, that's not two words that I wanted to put together no, ever. No, no. So what's the number on the Doom Tree spiders, Ellen? I, I'd say like another like. 7.5? 7.5, okay, interesting. So we're not arachnogoma, arachnogoma territory. Not, but like that, yeah, that's, <laughs> that one is, that can die in a fire. Actually not, I don't like it when spiders die because at the end of the day, I don't hate spiders. Yeah, I, and, you know, and you know that they're not I know that they're not evil, I know that they're not, I just don't want them anyway. <laughs> so stop trying to explain to arachnophobes why they don't, Needs it's to be fine, you don't, I know. <laughs> more scared of you than you are of them. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's unpleasant, but it's also it's also that video game spider jump as well, where it's oh, just yeah, like, like yeah. Yeah. okay, like that. Where is like a real spider when they jump? Because when I was a child, I tried to cure my arachnophobia by watching nature programs on it. Didn't work. Um, and they tend to go with those front legs more like that, and it's horrible. So. Okay. Okay. You've clearly thought about it a lot. Mm -hmm, so. <laughs> Commenter Shadowboy says, I don't want to imagine her reaction to the spiders in Mortal Kombat X. Crypt. So the crypt in the game is you gather your coins, spelled with yeah. a K, of course. Uh, and, uh, spelled with a K. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Of so got... course. <laughs> <laughs> and you sort of rootle around in there and it's where you can unlock character art and moves and stuff like that. Right. But you have to do quick time events to avoid enemies. One of the environments is called- To get collectibles? I know, in Mortal Kombat, I don't really get it, but it's, it's a thing. And one of them is the spider caves, which is full of spiders. Would you like to see one of the spiders? Right. Okay, okay, I'm gonna move the laptop okay. a little away from you for this one. Okay, okay. Oh no! No! No, just no. <laughs> Hang on a second. Just no, and send to the boys at head research. <laughs> I don't think we need to see any more of this one. Do you like? Can can you forward it to pass where all the legs are on your face, just Ye to see if it see it in the. Sorry, I'm going frame by frame. Oh, you're not going to want to see this. <laughs> oh no, we're still not there. Still not there. Oh god, that's even worse. Let's look a bit like this. Oh, that's not nice. Not nice. It's not nice. I don't, it, it's it's the fact that it just comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, Sav savagely realistic. Like a horrible trapdoor spider. Uh, the Mortal Kombat X Crypt spiders on the ferometer. Those can just f right off. <laughs> um. <laughs> They're like a nine, because the actual spider isn't that bad, but the... The, the presentation the, of the spider. It's the presentation, precisely. It's the fact that it's like... Bleh. Okay. Bleh. Okay. All right. Uh, I think we'd better make this the last one, Alan, because you, <laughs> you, you appear to be folding yourself away. I'm, I'm a bit worried you're just going to snap your own leg. So uh, let's keep going. Now, this one was mentioned a lot. It's probably the maybe the most suggested one in the comments. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Commenter Razor Slick is someone who suggested this one. Uh -huh. Try fighting Black Tiger from the Resident Evil remake. That sets my arachnophobia through the roof. This is a spider boss mm -hmm. that was first seen in Resident Evil, but in the remake mm -hmm. is imagined quite differently. Okay, here we go. Uh. Oh, no, 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 
no, no, no. Pop this away. <laughs> yeah, that's... Basically unacceptable? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not quite the Zelda one. Uh, okay, so interesting. So I'd say like a 9.5. A 9.5. Okay, that's it's high. It's the fact that the first thing you see is like a leg. Just no. Just a, just a, a resigned shake of the head. It's, it's just like... too real. <laughs> if there's been a theme to this, it's absolutely that the ones that... I think people without arachnophobia mm -hmm. would think, wow, this spider in a video game is really massive and it mm -hmm. spits fire and it's mm -hmm. so ugly and it's so horrendous. Yeah. Surely nothing could be worse for an arachnophobe. But actually what I'm getting <laughs> is a just... A real rendering of a spider. A real spider. <laughs> that, because it looks more like what you're scared of. Yeah. A real spider. Yeah. Well, I was not expecting the Twilight uh, Princess spider to be the most horrifying one there. Because also it shouldn't be in Zelda. They're spiders usually a kind of like, oh, we've got a little skull on our back. And, like, and then they, that one, they were like, let's just do a yeah. big spider. Maybe it was a Friday afternoon job. Maybe it was like, that is, that is my, we really, I always we say, be down the pub. whenever I see a spider in a game, yeah. that was a Friday afternoon job because they know it will scare people. Yeah. But the fact is that it sometimes scares people so much, like me, that I don't buy your game. <laughs> the Souls ones, a bit of design. Went mm. in there. Got yep. a little... <laughs> yeah, it's called a it's called a science bruise, and only good science. It's a sign that some good science happened, actually, Ellen. Yeah. <sighs> science bruise. <laughs> Don't zoom in on. <laughs> Well, Ellen, thank you so much, genuinely, for... Can I have, like, cake now or something? You can have cake. Can oh, you take me for we, ice cream? We forgot the final most important bit. What? Another spider. No. <laughs> no, we forgot the aftercare kittens. <gasps> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, this is what I need. Oh. Oh, oh little meow meow. Oh, this is so fluffy. Why don't we focus on this one lying on its oh. back? Little paws in the air because it's little jelly beans. Why can't everything just be cat? Should we see another one? Oh, I'm gonna mush it up. Oh. oh. <laughs> Let me do that. It's the kind of animal we like, nature. <laughs> is that a little more? Good. A little calm down. I'm a bit disappointed that there isn't an actual cat in the room, but grateful that there isn't a spider in the room. I hope. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Ellen, thank you so much, genuinely, for volunteering to experience your arachnophobia on camera uh, in the hope that, uh, well, I, I feel like every time we do this, I learn a little bit more about the condition. Uh, and I, I, do think, I do think it's very interesting. So thank you very much for, for going through that for us. Uh, let's fine. all say thank you to Ellen. Um, drop your thank yous and praise in the comments. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now let's get you some cake. You play some video games, yeah. Spider free ones, yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Uh, if you enjoyed this, then there's some other videos on screen now that you can uh, watch as well. And please subscribe if you like this. And we will see you next time for more science.